It sure takes its first time But it's got rights and so have I I turn my head up to the sky And focus one point at a time I do not let the little breeze under my tie Hey guys, what is going on? Tom here from Mooncraft PC, and this is kind of like a little video, like of my gaming setup, and well, it's technically my room, but uh, and a series to come, which will just be, you know, I'll update, do update videos as I update my setup because I'm redoing my whole room. If you didn't know already, so I'm adding quite a lot of stuff, uh, and I'll talk you through that in a second, but. Um, I'm just going to show you what my room is like at the moment. So when you walk in, so through the door there, um, there's just a Black Ops poster on this wall and some notes on that wall, um, just stuck on a notice board, and some cupboards there. One of them's for the boiler, one of them's just for clothes and stuff. But I've got a massive open space uh, down here on this end of my room. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet, um, because I did have that that chest of drawers thing over here, which filled it up a bit, but um, no, I think I'm going to do something else with it. Um, anyway, so on this wall, around that height, just the middle of the video, you can probably see it, um, I'm going to be putting some shelving up, which is going to have all my Xbox and, uh, well, pretty much just Xbox games on it, um, and my Xbox games are over there at the moment. So they're just going to be on there, and I'm going to have some LED lights underneath, which will just light it up quite cool. Um, right, if you turn to the left as you come in, uh, I've got my kind of like a storage unit, I guess. So I've got my Turtle Beach X12 box in there. Uh, I like keeping the boxes of stuff that I get. Um, my old broken motherboard where I managed to bend the pin, so I had to get a new one. Uh, I do need to try to get rid of that at some point. Um, up here I've got a mini fridge, I uh, haven't used it in a while, you can fit, it's an okay size, you can fit about four cans in there, like upright, and then another two like that, like flat, that could slide in, um, I haven't used that in a while, <laughs> uh, Xbox 360 box for the Xbox 360 E, is the 4 gig version, but um, I managed to take apart the hard drive from my old one, and actually use it in in the new one, so that's in there. It's quite hard. I might light up the room actually just by turning on the light. Yeah, okay, that's a bit better. So that's Xbox 360 E there. It does look pretty similar to the Xbox One, I think. Like the whole um, the cooling on it is kind of like a grate on one side and then flat on the other with the Xbox logo. Pretty similar to the Xbox One. And then I've just got my. Um, my yeah, Xbox controllers there, one's for the new Xbox and one's for the old one with the grey thumbsticks. Um, so yeah, you can see I've got quite bad cable management at the moment. I do need to sort that out. I've actually got a shelf over there on top of the um, on top of the games. And I'm just going to uh, screw that into the wall below the desk. And then that will hold the wires all in one. Um, so they'll all be in one group and then they can all come down in one group as well so it looks a lot neater um, also next the next row that's the mother one I'm using at the moment for my PC so that's the one that's actually working that, but obviously that's just the box now uh, I've got my Nintendo Wii I don't have the soundbar set up on top of the TV at the moment but um, yeah I use that sometimes just for Mario Kart and stuff when I'm bored uh, Assassin's Creed Anthology, I got this for Xbox 360, so this came with all the games, not including Assassin's Creed 4 or Unity now either, because it came out quite a long time ago, but I do have both of those games, I've got Unity for PC and uh, Black Flag for Xbox 360, um, so yeah that came with all the games and all the DLC, so I'm pretty happy with that, um, nice limited edition case in there as well. Um, for my microphone, that's the microphone I use for recording videos, uh, so that's just on the side there. Um, I've got my splash speakers, if you plug them in, they um, if you've got like a really bassy song or something, like the water inside them will shoot up and it will be different colours and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, then I've got my Razer Naga mouse, the 2014 edition right there. Um, so I was pretty happy with that, that was one of the first things I bought for my PC actually before I even started building the PC. So I used it for my laptop, 
Um, I've had no problems with this mouse, it's a really good mouse. Um, I recommend getting it if you are a RuneScape player, which you very likely are on this channel. Um, because, you know, the buttons on the side really help with abilities and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, uh, my LED keyboard, which I've got set up over there, so you can change um, you can change the colour of the lights, so red, pink, uh, blue, red or pink, or off. And you can also change the brightness, so that's quite bright, so you can turn it down to the you know, lowest brightness, and then medium, and then high as well, and then back to low. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, also, just my box and my processor, processor there, um, like a broken version of the Lego Guggenheim Museum, I don't know why that's there and um, a TIE Fighter from Star Wars. <laughs> I just kind of stuck it on the top. Um, a Rubik's Cube, which I never freaking solved. Um, you can see I tried peeling off the stickers there because I was getting annoyed and I wanted to switch them out, but couldn't be bothered in the end. Um, some present I got for my birthday. I haven't used it yet. It's kind of like a trick, I think. Um, just some books and DVDs up there. Um, a Lego model of the White House there broken as well, I keep losing parts for them and there's just a chest set in there and then all the phones I've had, so ACC radar there um, that was a good phone but it was a Windows phone so it was kind of limited uh, iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5C which is what I'm using to record this actually um, so yeah, uh, so that's it for the entertainment unit or whatever you want to call it um, so over here I've got my desk and my chair uh, Cable management is a bit crap, well, very crap, I need to sort that out. Um, so it's just a wooden Ikea desk. Um, I am going to be replacing it with a nicer wooden Ikea desk, um, which is kind of like a dark brown colour, um, and it has it has its own cable management thing on it, like, like the thing that I'm going to be putting in. Um, and it has like shelving on the right hand side, which is pretty cool. Um, so on this desk, I put up a little, I got some hooks for my skateboard, so I could put my skateboard, which is over there. Um, I got some hooks so that I could put my skateboard like lengthways across, and they were up there um, at one point, so, so that it went across like that. But then I took one of them out and put it down lower so that I could use it as a headset stand, just because it annoyed me when I put it on the desk, the wires kind of got tangled up. So um, yeah, it's good there. So I got that on there. Um, I got my Tempo speakers. They don't look very good, but trust me, they are. They have very good sound quality, and I've had them for quite a while, and they are very good. Um, and then I've got my Pride and Joy. Well, not really my Pride and Joy, but uh, twenty-one point five inch uh, Logic TV. It's, it's you know it's a it's a bad make that no one's heard of, but it's a really good TV. Um, it, I think it shows PC really nicely. Um, you can see it's anti-flicker, so it's not flickering while I'm recording, um, which is good. And yeah, I think it's really good for a um, for just a typical, you know, PC world uh, TV that no one's ever heard of. Um, but yeah, I've had this TV for about four years, and it's really good, still staying like perfect. I haven't had any problems with it, and that's wall mounted at the moment. So it's well mounted on there. Um, and then I've got my keyboard, which I already showed you. Um, that was only like 20 quid, by the way. That's a really good really good deal for that. Um, and then my Razer Narco mouse, which I already told you about as well. And, uh, and my mic there. Hello, mic. Uh, video would sound better if I was recording with that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be getting two more monitors to put either side of this one. Um, so that I can have a three monitor set up. <laughs> kind of says it all, doesn't it? Um, and I'm now going to be using AMD iFinity on my graphics card so that I can uh, run some games all on three monitors at once. So I can, so I don't have to look left, you know, on the screen because I can see left and I can see right. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm getting a uh, massive 40 inch TV to go up there, which is what my Xbox and Xbox One, which I'm getting soon in a few months, um, which will that's what it will be displayed on, so I'll replace that and it will just be a huge TV there. Um, so, what else? Okay, there's my PC, so obviously that's what I use for everything now. Um, so there's the front of it, so it's a Corsair 200R uh, 
case. Um, I think it's, um, hmm, Builder Series, I think? No, I can't remember. Well, it's the Corsair 200R, I know that much. Um, and it's the Windows case, so you can see that little blue light that's coming from inside. So it's just got a Samsung drive, um, just got to put some stickers on the front, uh, and then that's the window on the side, and then on the inside you can probably see some stuff, so... Uh, I've got an Intel processor in there, it's quite hard to see. If I focus, you might just be able to make out the logo. So I've got an Intel i5-4690K in there. Um, I've got 8GB of Corsair Vengeance RAM, so two 4 gig sticks. Um, I've got a Corsair LED fan in there. It's just, probably just my main fan, just pretty nice. Um, Corsair, I really like Corsair, don't I? Corsair CX600M power supply in there. And then an LED strip as well, which goes in the back and uh, bottom, which just lights up the whole case. I'm still waiting on getting my graphics card, which will be, you know, around there. Um, I'm getting that this week, actually. So, yeah, no, overall, my games are going to look nicer and they'll be in high resolution stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my computer. Um, so, my computer's just sat on just the drawers at the moment, just because I didn't like it on my desk because I didn't have enough space on there. Oh, sorry, I got a bit of a cold. Um, and then up here, I've just got my, well, all my discs, um, all my game discs there. And I've got kind of a little corner where my desk used to be over there. Um, I had like a little corner of posters and stuff. So, I've got a Cod Ghost poster. The Black Ops one over there used to be over here. Um, some DC skate posters, some Assassin's Creed things that came in the anthology, and uh, just a picture of a surfing picture there, and some stickers and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this corner of the room. Just got my guitar there as well. It's a pretty bad guitar actually. Um, just a you know normal p cheap PC chair picked up for around fifteen quid from just, you know an old office shop. Um, but yeah, so. Let's unblur that screen a sec. Okay, so this is my this is my coaching spot of the century. This is uh it's where I sleep. So I really am not good at focusing today. There we go. So yeah, it's kinda of like a little corner bed. So it's a normal bed, it's just against the wall. So beds against the wall are the best thing because you can like sit across and you know lengthways on them. So I've got pillows there as you can see so I chill against the wall sometimes when I don't want to conform to society so it's a huge um, huge bed it is slightly bigger than a double I think I'm not sure I think it might be a queen size bed or something um, I used to have a lot of posters and stuff up there you can see the old blue tack that I haven't managed to get off properly which kind of deteriorates um, so instead of this bed I am going to be having a leather sofa right there and it'll be a leather corner sofa um, which is around the same, you know, width. Um, so that'll be there. And this mattress from the bed, I can either put down, which is might be, you know, a good use of this space. Um, obviously it won't be down all the time. It'll just be down when I'm sleeping. Um, but yeah, I can either put it down or I can sleep on the bed, depending on how comfortable it is. Because it is a sofa bed, but I don't know how comfortable it's going to be. And I might want to sleep on the mattress. So, I don't know about that yet, but um, yeah, I've just got a London 2012 poster up there, it's just framed, you know, like, woo, go England, yeah. Um, and then I've just got my chest of drawers, which was over there, but is now there. So, this is going to be, like, where the laptop is right now, which is where I used to play on. That's where my Xbox One's going to be, and then I'm going to have my Xbox standing up next to it. And then I've got my Nintendo 64 here. Um, and then just my lamp for my bed, <laughs> you know, need that lamp. Um, so yeah, my Xbox 360 is going to go there, and then the Xbox One there. So I've just got my laptop here, this is what I used to play on. Um, I've got some stickers on there, Razor sticker, um, and then another sticker, and some stickers and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is quite badly specced. Yeah, Intel i3, I believe. Yeah, Intel... Core i3, Windows 7, uh, it actually had Windows 8, um, because I installed Windows 8, but yeah, I pretty much wrecked that computer, like, it, it kind of got a bit screwed up, um, but yeah, anyway, over here, just quickly show you how I make my videos, 
Um, so if it's a simple video and it's a voice recording video, um, no, sorry, a screen recording video, I'll make it in Camtasia Studio. So Camtasia Studio is the editing program that comes with Camtasia Recorder, which is what me and Ben use to record our screens. So I will use this if it's a screen recording for a game, um, like RuneScape normally. If it's something else, I'll probably use Sony Vegas or After Effects. Um, so I'm probably going to use Sony Vegas to edit this video, um, just because it comes out cleaner usually. And so actual videos come up better in Sony Vegas. So yeah, this is this is what I use. There's a number of things. It's relatively simple. Um, but you import media in there, so you, that's where you import your files. Um, and then, sorry, I'm a bit shaky. And then you can um, tell you what, I'll just hold it closer a bit. And then you can uh, put in effects like zoom and pan to a part of the video that you want, which is technically what I just did, just with the camera. <laughs> um, you can edit the audio as well, like fades and volume up and down, just completely silence the track. Uh, you can add cursor effects, like when you click, there's um, there'll be ripples around it, so it's easier to see. Um, or you can just add, you can just start recording your webcam right now and just re you know record something over it. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty simple. And then you just go to produce and share, and then you render it out in the settings that you want. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. There's not much else to tell you apart from. Uh, watch this space for the next few months um, probably over the next six or seven months because I'm going to be recording uh, pretty much when anything happens so I'll probably record a video when I get my graphics card which will be in like half a week maybe two a week I don't know how long it will take to get here but yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys uh, will carry on you know checking back to see how I'm doing uh, with my setup but yeah, um, if you did enjoy this video and you're hopeful to see more like this, then please like, comment and subscribe.